This problem says if f of x is equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 5, find f of x plus 1. So in this problem, we need to substitute x plus 1 in for every x in the problem. Notice though that since we're substituting something that has x in it, we're only going to be left with a function of x as our answer. We're not going to end up with just a single number as our answer. So to find f of x plus 1, we'll put 2 and then in place of this x, I'm going to open a parentheses and put x plus 1. And then because the x is squared, I'll include a square on that. And then minus 3. Again, when I'm plugging in something, I find it easier to put it in a parentheses to start with. x plus 1, and then bring down just the plus 5. So this is technically my answer, um, but it's probably a good idea to do some simplifying um, before we, we call it our final answer. So when we have more than one term that is squared, that means we need to FOIL this out, or we need to write it as 2 times x plus 1, and then multiply it by another x plus 1. Because squared means you're taking the same thing and you're multiplying it. You're taking that base and you're multiplying it together twice. I can go ahead and distribute it by negative 3 to my x makes negative 3x, and then negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, then bring down my plus 5. From here, I need to distribute out um, my x plus 1s to each other. So 2 times first would be x times x is x squared, and then outer x times 1 is plus an x, and then inner, 1 times x is x, and then last is 1 times 1 is 1. If you haven't heard of FOIL using the, the first outer inner, inner last, don't worry about it. You just need to do every term in the first parentheses multiplied times every term in the second parentheses, and FOIL is just a way to keep track of that. So then to bring down my minus 3x, and then negative 3 and plus 5 are like terms, so I can combine them. Negative 3 plus 5 is plus 2. And we have some like terms here. x plus x is 2x. So let's simplify that. x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 3x plus 2. Then we can distribute our 2 to every term in the parentheses. So 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 2 times 2x is plus 4x. 2 times 1 is 2. We'll bring down our minus 3x and our plus 2. And finally, we have a couple more like terms. We don't have any terms that have a square on the x other than the 2x squared, so we can bring that one down. We have 4x and minus 3x, so 4 minus 3 is 1, so that would be plus 1x, or we can just write plus x. Then we have a plus 2 and another plus 2, so we can bring that down as plus 4. So now since we have gotten rid of all of our parentheses, or brackets, and we've combined all of our like terms, this would be our final answer. And again, when you have an x that you're plugging into your function, your final answer will have an x left in it, and you, you won't get down to a single number. Okay, well I hope this question was helpful for you, or this video step-by-step -step solution. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, if your problem, if you'd like to take a picture of it, I have my email in the description so that you can send me an email with uh, a picture if you'd like to do it that way. And um, also I have some information about how to contact me on my Facebook um, or to subscribe um, to my Patreon to support my homework help project if you would like. Thanks for watching!